Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe, what do we have for Aries for the middle of November? So this is for like November 12th through whenever, because you know the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. So let's just say mid-November for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Aries, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe? What does Aries need to hear? Somebody is going to see a situation absolutely clearly with that Seven of Cups reverse that is receiving the clarity. That's making a clear choice. It's seeing the clear choice. It's realizing something. So because somebody is going to realize something clearly, it's going to become very clear. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Somebody been thinking about leaving? They've been thinking about walking away. They've been thinking about an emotionally disappointing situation. <clears throat> I've had no problems with my throat at all today. None. There may be some communication issues. Um, all of a sudden I can't speak. It feels like I'm all choked up. All of a sudden. <clears throat> and I really don't have anything to cough, as you can see. There's nothing in there. It's like all of a sudden I've gone... There's no more, nothing left to say. It's like, I know I need to speak, but I can't. It's like, it's really weird. It is very weird. I'm able to speak, but it's difficult. Interesting. So somebody's been thinking about an emotionally disappointing situation. They've been thinking about leaving it or thinking about walking away, thinking about just leaving it all behind. It's time to go. Maybe a little bit confused, maybe a lot confused, maybe unsure. But it's like now you see, and there's an opportunity for peace. Rainbows are a symbol of peace. And I think the difficulty that you have been through or somebody that you are dealing with, because it could, this can go many different ways. This can also be a reading that is vice versa, okay? So that vice versa, when I say vice versa, it means this could be for the cross watcher. Somebody is seeing a situation absolutely clearly about somebody leaving or thinking about leaving. Not from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So here we got somebody thinking about it, taking their time, really unsure, but thinking about wish fulfillment, thinking about happiness. You know? Thinking about abundance, thinking about, you know, what it would be like to have it all. Whew. Nine of coins reversed. So this is must take action. That we got somebody here that is needs to realize that you know they are worthy, that they're worthy, that that they're good enough. We have somebody here that just doesn't uh, take very good care of themselves. This person is lazy. This person may think that another person completes them. When they don't, you know, you may need to realize that it's better to be by yourself than to be with the wrong one. Somebody is, a, is codependent. They may be with somebody that is based on fantasy. This is fantasy. You know, they may be holding on to something that somebody that is a, that's an illusion. There could be in some sort of... Uh, fantasy illusion here that and somebody is holding on to it because they just don't want to be alone you know sometimes it's better to be alone than to be in an emotionally disappointing situation you, you know there's an opportunity for happiness here in abundance but you may have to walk away from something you may have to really realize that nobody completes you but you the per whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they don't complete you. You complete you. That's the meaning of this card. 
there's definitely a lot of unhappiness here there's sadness here this is this is no growth sadness unhappiness it's like things are not as blissful as you want them to be and i think that you're definitely seeing something you're, you're a seven eight nine and it's funny i've been using these cards i've used it for the last couple readings and i've whatever i'm not going to explain it anyway it's weird because it's like we're doing a progression here but there's a lot of back and forth and ups and downs and and it's like you really one minute you want to go the next minute you want to stay next minute you want to go the next minute you want to stay but i think you're going to receive some sort of clarity i think the confusion that you have been through is going to dissipate you're going to receive something that is going to help you to decide there's definitely an element of unhappiness here, a need to realize that the only one that can make you happy is you. So, six of coins reversed. This is uh, a one-sided situation. You may be in a relationship that is one-sided. There's no reciprocation. Maybe you're on your own anyway and you're just refusing to see it. This person may not really support you. There's grieving. There's sadness. There's uh, crying over a loss or really focusing on a loss. But I think you're about ready to let it go. I think that there's definitely a better opportunity for wish fulfillment. I think that you have been reluctant to see it. You have been ignoring it. You, you probably have known for quite some time that it's time to go and you've just been, you know, choosing to hold on to a unrequited situation where there's a really a lack of stability, there's insecurities here, there's a lack of happiness. I feel like there's been some sort of belittlement. It's been a constant battle. You are dealing with somebody or, or they're dealing with you, somebody here has been really egotistical. They've been wanting to win at all costs. They've been doing really mean things. They've been saying really mean things. They haven't been telling the truth. They've been cutting you down. They don't care if they hurt you. All they care about is if they win. Now remember this can go vice versa. I feel as though we've had, we've had a lot of back and forth power struggles. Like I said, you've been struggling with somebody. It's been like a constant tug of war and I don't need that tug of war card. I can see it. <coughs> a lot of disharmony, <coughs> a lot of miscommunications. Somebody may, may have been using silent treatment as a, as a tool to blackmail you, you know, or emotional, uh, you know, uh, ways you know uh, crying all the time you know trying to make you feel guilty trying to make you feel bad with their tears emotional blackmail it's like somebody has really been trying to uh, manipulate you in some way and i think you've been falling for it aries i do i think you're in a one-sided situation when you and you're starting to see the situation situation clearly I think that you are. I think you've been seeing it for a while now, but you probably, you know, didn't want to believe it. We're dealing with a dishonest individual here, somebody that's not telling the truth, somebody that has been stealing your power, somebody that really, 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 really is very smug. This person is... Uh, egotistical you're dealing with an egotistical son of a gun who is a liar and they don't care who they hurt as long as they win and they use emotional I feel like it's emotional blackmail against you one minute they won't talk to you you know they're pouting the next minute they're crying and say I didn't have anything to do with it they don't want to be held accountable for anything they they proclaim that they're innocent and they're not they're not Aries. And I think that you're seeing it. And I think that you're wanting to leave. You're thinking about leaving. You're thinking about severing ties with this situation. There's really no equal give and take here. It's like you're on your own anyway. I think that uh, you may be in some sort of midlife crisis. You may be with somebody, but you're alone anyway. If you're alone, you're probably sick of being alone. 
you're sick of being alone, obviously, and and you just want to be happy, right? Anyway, there's a lot of loneliness here. There's definitely a lot of loneliness here, Aries, and I feel like there's loneliness and unhappiness. But the thing is, is that you may be if you're in a if you're in a situation now, you may be with somebody who doesn't really reciprocate fully. This person may want to walk away. This person may be thinking about walking away from you. Somebody's thinking about walking away, whether it's you or the other person. It's, that's no joke with that Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody's thinking about walking away. There's grieving and there's a lot of sadness here. Um, this has to do with your family. There's, there's a completion in your family. Okay, tens are completions. All right. Then this is severing ties with family members. With, with it could be with a, somebody a lover I mean it could be with some, this is somebody is really okay they're really thinking about severing ties with somebody in their family you probably have a new opportunity that coming in maybe you have a new exciting opportunity waiting for you to see it this is a just go for it card this tells me that you do have something else waiting for you if you could only see it but you're not seeing it. You have something else, but you have you just if you could only see it. You have an exciting opportunity waiting for you to notice it. But as long as you keep focusing on the heartache, you keep focusing on the pain, you keep focusing on the emotionally unfulfilling thing, you're not going to see it. Maybe you're not being honest with yourself. Somebody isn't being honest with themselves. I'm I'm sure of it. Anyway, you got a new exciting opportunity waiting for you to grab onto it, waiting for you to go for it. Just go for it. Please turn around and see that there's something else that is better for you. Please. You may have already seen this exciting opportunity, but you keep on looking back. Why do you keep looking back? Just go. My advice is to go. You have an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. Stop looking back. Stop being dishonest with yourself. Stop shutting your eyes. Wake up. My advice is to go after some. You have you have a new partner, a new exciting opportunity, a new beginning waiting for you. Grab it. That is my advice. Good luck.